Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. It's fully cooked. Super tasty. How to make deep fried fish? Let me share with you. Today, I'm going to share with you fresh wild sockeye salmon fillet and I'm going to deep fry these. And this one has skin on and these are boneless. I will cut into small pieces and we're going to marinate with besan. Half cup gram flour, garlic powder, ginger powder, cilantro, black pepper, salt. It's a one teaspoon each. Carom seed, ajwayan, half teaspoon. Please try it. It's kind of a bitter. If you don't like it, then discard it. Whenever you fry fish, ajwain is a good combination. I'll cut up the pieces and then we're going to marinate. We're going to use the water as needed. So let's get started. The first step will be we're going to cut up into smaller pieces. Make sure that there is no bone. And as we can see, a couple of bones are here. So we're going to make sure that we're going to pull it out. So we're going to make sure that pull the bones if there is any. So about this size pieces, we're going to cut it. If you don't like the skin, it's very easy to take it out. If you don't like the skin, then you can do this. It's easy to come out. Just slice it like this. See, as you see, it start to come out. I like to keep the skin on, but the kids, they don't like it. That's why I kept two pieces with the skin on. The rest, I'm going to take the skin out. So as I mentioned, it's a, it's a personal choice if you want to keep it. So just keep dragging the knife. So if you look, it's nicely comes out. And if you look at on the back side, perfect. So I'm going to cut the same way we're going to cut it. This big pieces and we'll place it in the plate and I'll keep continuing doing the same thing with the other piece. Get a mixing bowl and we'll add basin, ajwain, carom seed, cilantro, dhania, ginger powder, garlic powder, salt, black pepper. With the help of a whisk, combine it. Now we're going to add water. First add quarter cup. We need uh, like a running paste. I'll add some more water. So altogether we use a half cup. This is strictly optional. It's a turmeric powder. Back home deep fry fish, we always use turmeric powder. It gives a nice color. So once it's nicely combined, this is the consistency what we're looking for. We'll add the fish pieces. As I mentioned, the skin on, you can keep it when I eat. I like skin on, but the kids, they don't like it. So I take the skin out. I will place it in and I will keep turning. So with the help of spoon, we are just going to turn it like this. So keep adding and keep moving. So we are going to marinate the all pieces. Once it's nicely coated, cover with the lid and put it in the fridge for two hours. You can marinate for longer period of time, that's always better, but I'll marinate only two hours. The fish is marinated for two hours. The fryer is ready. I have a vegetable oil heated up at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, it's beautifully marinated. We'll place the fish inside. This is with the skin on. So now we're going to let it deep fry five to six minutes. It's nicely done. If you need more crunchy, then give like a couple more minutes.
I like my fish very crunchy and this is a good indication when it starts to float that means it's fully cooked. It started to float. So if you press it, it will come out. So now I'm going to take it out. Another minute of cooking, I'll take it out. We're going to leave it here so we can uh, drain extra oil. I have a plate with a paper towel on it, so we'll place it on top of it. Any extra oil, it will soak up. Look at that. The skin on. Very crispy and very crunchy. I like it this way. So try both ways. See what do you like. If you like skin on or you don't like it. Perfect. Place the basket in again. Let's put the second batch. Let's place it one more on this side. Look at these. So once it's uh, cooked for like a couple of minutes, you just pull these out. I'm just making room for to put two more pieces in there. So place two more pieces. We're going to let it cook until it's fully cooked. This is very nice color, very crunchy. As you can see, this one is also fully cooked. So I'll take it out and I'll place it up here so we can drain the oil. This is very tasty, very delicious. This is very crunchy. So I have my plate here with the paper towel on it. Deep fried fish is all ready. Please try it. This is very tasty and very crunchy and very easy to make it. If you like this recipe, like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.